All right. So we are going to go over our five grammar pages to prepare for our quiz tomorrow. Like I just said a minute ago, most of you only missed points because you didn't follow the directions, which is very strugglesome to me because um, we go over the directions together. So how we get it wrong, it's a little bit frustrating, but that's besides the point. So let's pull it up. I will share my screen that Nolan's going to stop doing what he's doing. If you are a virtual student and you're on this one, you're going to have to go to, you're going to have to watch Mrs. Siddig's live later. Landon's going to face his screen. I already asked you guys to split your screen so you have yours open and you have mine so you can see simultaneously. And so far in class, I don't see anyone doing that. I, I wasn't talking. If you know it wasn't you, then you don't need to say anything. I didn't say who it was. All right. So we did the first few together. In the first one, you had to highlight the subject in each sentence. By the way, for some reason, when it says highlight, some of you are underlining. And then when it says underlining, you guys are highlighting. If it says highlight, highlight. If it says underline, underline. Okay, let me share my screen and then we will get started. Okay, so we did the first few together. It was Ken and Martha want to write about the Revolutionary War. The subjects are Ken, Lee, and Martha. We highlighted Ken, Lee, and Martha and we replaced their names with they. They want to write a play about the Revolutionary War. The next one, Martha begins to research the topic. Who's the subject? Martha. And we change Martha to she. Next, the play takes many weeks to write. What is our subject? What should be highlighted? What are we talking about? Rochelle? Yeah, so the play should be highlighted and it's not a person, it's an object. So instead of he or she, it should be what? What should we replace it with, Rochelle? It. It takes many weeks to write. Harry builds the set for the play. Who is our subject in this, Evan? Yes, Harry is the subject, and Harry is a traditionally a male name. So what should it be, he or him, everyone? Him builds the set? He. he, yes, it is he builds the set for the play, not him. Remember, you got to read these out loud to yourself sometimes so you know what, you know, you got to know. Okay, okay. The story focuses on the ride of Paul Revere. What is our subject? Olive, what are we talking about? The, the story? Yep, that's what we're talking about. And the story is a thing. It's not a person. So it is a what, everyone? What word are we replacing the story with? Are we calling the story a she? Are we calling it a him? Are we calling it a he? We're calling it what? It. It, it focuses on the ride of Paul Revere. All right. And then the second half, all you had to do was highlight the correct one. We did two together. It was they are changing the rehearsal schedule. We would like to hear your opinion. Next, it is you or I were just voted director of the play. Which one is it? Hannah, you. If it, it was I, it would have to be I was, but it's you were, correct. Mark and me, or Mark and I, will make costumes. Kylin, Mark and me, or Mark and I? Yes, Mark and I will make costumes. Uh, then, however, he and him and I and me will ask others to help. However, blank and blank will ask others to help. Um, Michaela, what's the first one? The first one, however, he or however him. I feel like it's him. Him and I? He and I? Yeah, I don't think it's he and I. It's him and I. However, him and I will ask others for help. Correct is him and I. 
Does anyone have any questions on this first 10? All we did was we had to find what our subject was, replace it with whatever word it was, and then this one we just had to read and find the correct answers. The next one, we had to read both sentences and see which sentence made the most sense. We did the first, we did two together. We did the top one. It was Ken wanted me to play ball, Paul Revere. And the bottom, my parents applauded loudly for me. The second pair of sentences, he offered parts in the play to he and she. He offered parts in the play to him and her. Marissa, is it the first one or the second one? It is the second one. Done to the good job. Martha emailed copies of the script to we. Martha emailed copies to the script to us. Elijah, what do you think? Is it we or us? Us. It is. Thank you. It's the second one. Emailed scripts to us. And lastly, it was a good way for them to study history. It was a good way for they to study history. Avery, what do you think? Is it them or they? Them or they? Where'd you go? Avery. Oh, I keep on seeing your thing turn on, but you're not saying anything. The top or bottom? Okay, Avery, for some reason, it's not working. So I'm going to call on someone else, okay? Sorry. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, wait. Did she put it in the chat? No. Eden, you raised your hand. Is it them or they, Eden? They. It's actually them. It's a good way for them to study history, not they. So it should be top, okay? So it should be top, bottom, bottom, top, bottom, okay? You just got to read it, see which one sounds correct. The next page, I had some friends that, um, well, you, you didn't really follow all the directions. Because here, you have to underline the pronoun, which is, you know, he, she, you, it, they, them, etc. And then you have to highlight the antecedent. The antecedent is the pronoun is the word that's replacing the pronoun so it's joshua said he would dim the lights for um backstage so he is our pronoun and our antecedent is joshua the pronoun is talking about joshua mary turned on the flashlight but it did not work it is our pronoun and our antecedent what we're talking about is the flashlight lucy hoped she had extra batteries in her pocket what is our pronoun in this sentence, Landon? Nope. What is our pronoun, Ella? She is our pronoun, so she should be underlined. Oh, then our antecedent, what our pronoun is talking about is Lucy, okay? Andy's friends helped him practice his lines for the play. What is our pronoun in the sentence, Nolan? What's our pronoun? What? Uh, no, the is not a pronoun. I love. Um, pronoun, I, you, he, she, them, uh, the. Well, that's a lie. The can be a pronoun if we're talking about a thing, but we're not. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I lied. It can be a pronoun, but we're not talking about a thing. We're talking about um, Andy's friends. Well, oh, hello. She is. Yes. Bye. Hello, you're going to go to speech for a little bit, ma'am. So Andy's friends helped him practice his lines for the play. So let's think about this one. Landon, what do you think? We're going to come back to this one for a second. I'm trying to think, what are we actually talking about? Helped him practice his lines. No. What is our antecedent is what I'm looking for.
We're going to come back to this one in one second. The class shouted, we are going to be great tonight. What is our pronoun in this sentence? Rochelle? It is we. And our antecedent is talking about what? What's our antecedent? Who, who's we? Who is we, Marissa? The class. All right, I've officially decided I do not like this uh, fourth sentence because the pronouns could be um, Andy's friends helped him practice his line. So our antecedent is... So it'd be Andy's friends are who we're talking about and they helped him or his. That one's not my favorite. I'm pretty sure there's not a question like that in your quiz. I'll double check, but not my fave. I landed and I was thinking about it, okay? That was it. I didn't ask what everyone said. All right, our next one, I had lots of people who did not follow directions on this page and you lost points. The first point, part, you had to highlight the correct pronoun in parentheses, then label whether it was a subject or an object, okay? So, have you ever read a comic book? You, your subject is what we're talking about. He reads many con book, comic books. He is a subject. Kathy listens to him talk or he talk? Him or he, everyone? Him. No, it is him. You can't he talk. Kathy listens to he talk. Does that sound like something we would say? No. When the new comic book is released, Roger is the first to buy it or them? It, because it's comic book when the new or new comic, it is singular, which makes it it. If it was plural, then it would be them. Uh, then this one is an object. Roger buys an extra copy for I or for me? Everyone? Me. Ah, uh, which is a subject. Oh, uh, then lastly. Me thank Roger or I thank Roger. Everyone? Bye. I thank I'm the subject. All right. And then here you had to highlight, literally, highlight the four errors in the paragraph and type the corrections on the line below. The first one was one of they, and it was not they, it was them. What is another mistake, Marissa? Uh, characters is not correct. I don't believe characters is one that... Or which one? I don't say that again. Okay, well, then I just spelled the word characters wrong. We're talking about pronouns that are misused. If it's spelled wrong, it's just spelled wrong. That's just my fault. Landon. When it says another character who walked the wall, him is my favorite. Yes, so him should be highlighted. And then him equals he. All right, what's another one? Evan, tell me another one. There's two more mistakes. You should have this on your page, friends. Everyone should have already done this. I don't really think so. Hey, hey, are you Evan? No, no, you're not. So should your voice be off? Yes, thank you. I love. It should be what? Like him. Yes. He equals him. So let's read it after that. In my comic book, all superheroes will be able to apply to planets in outer space. My sister can draw and paint really well. I guess her and I can work together, but only if she remembers that I am the boss. I guess it could be she and I. Or is there another one? 
in my favorite comic book. What? Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> okay, Michaela. That's why I'm clearly looking for a fourth error. Okay, thank you. Rochelle, what do you think? I cannot hear you one bit, girlfriend. You gotta be louder. They we did together. That one was already done. So in my favorite comic book, the images help show the character's superpowers. One of them can control the weather with her mind. Another character can walk through walls. He is my favorite character. When I create a comic book someday, I will include a character like him. In my comic book, all superheroes will be able to fly to parent planets in outer space in seconds. My sister can draw really well, draw and paint really well. It's going to have to be she. I guess she and I can work together instead of her. It should be she. That one was a tricky one, too. Equals she. So only if she remembers that I am the boss. Any questions? That... So this one, a lot of us did not follow the second part, just for the record. You only did the first part of highlighting. And then the final page is same as always, where we connect to writing. We have to write, read the paragraph and figure out what's wrong. Some of you also skipped this page. You forgot that there's five pages, which makes me sad because then you lost the point for no reason, simply because you forgot. So Rayanne wrote a paragraph about something that happened to school. Read her paragraph and look for any revisions she should make and answer the questions that follow. Kara was late to class. The test had already started when Kara arrived. The test was about John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. Will and Matt were nervous about how Will and Matt would do on the test. Will was the first one to turn to turn in the test of the teacher. Carrie worried, Kara worried she would fail the test. Kara was the last one to finish. Which of the following ways could you rewrite sentence four? Sentence four, Will and Matt were nervous about how Will and Matt would do on the test. That clearly sounds silly. Should it be Will and Matt were nervous about how Will and Matt will do on the test? Will and Matt were nervous about how they would do on the test? They were nervous about how they would do on the test. Make no changes. Zach, I haven't heard from you. A, B, C, or D. Yeah, Will and Matt were nervous about how they would do on the test. We wouldn't say Will and Matt are nervous about Will and Matt. That sounds silly. It's about how they would do. And what changes, if any, should be made to sentence six? Kara's was, Kara was worried she would fail the test, and Kara was the last one to finish. Should we change the second to Kara to she? Change she to Kara, which would be Kara worried Kara would fail. That would be silly. Change test to it. Kara would worried, was worried she would fail it or make no change. What do we think? Ava? I disagree. I think there could be a change to make it better. This sentence isn't terrible, but I think we could make it better. Rochelle? It is change Kara to C. So then it would be Kara was worried she would fail the test and she was the last one to turn it in. So it should be B and it should be A. What questions do we have about this grammar? I really think for the most part, most of us will be able to do really good on our assessment tomorrow as long as we take our time. This one, it's just really important that we read the all the answer choices. Because some, you might think, oh yeah, that's right. But you need to make sure to read all of the answer choices and do not rush. Because if you rush the assessment tomorrow, that's when we'll probably do a not so fabulous job. But if we don't rush, I think everyone should be fine. Um, for those of you that are virtual, I think the grammar test will be posted around like 8.50 tomorrow. Those of you that are in school, that's when we're taking it at 8.50, I think. Are there any questions? If you did not turn in your grammar homework, not if you, I already returned it to you, but if you didn't turn it in at all, please make sure to turn it in. Any questions? Also, remember, if you're a virtual student and are missing Mrs. Siddigs to be here, make sure you watch Mrs. Siddigs' class later. Any questions? If not, you are free to leave me so long. Thank you for participating. If you have any questions on the test tomorrow, feel free to ask me. Remember, you can use this your grammar homework on your quiz you are free to do that in fact do it please use the help you are given okay okay